I'm here to show you how is it possible for Wi-Fi signals to penetrate straight through the walls into your device. Even if you put your access point in one room and you stay in another, you can still use the internet through your device. And why can't visible light also go through the walls since both of them are electromagnetic waves. And I'm also going to offer you what I think is the best analogy I found. And I am so confident that after watching this, you will have learned something new or something interesting. Now, just for the sake of the simplicity of this video, I will not get into the wave barrier interaction such as diffraction and reflection. I'm not going to talk about that. I will just tell you why does a wave go through the wall and why it does not go through the wall and how does that happen. Signals have different frequencies and that makes them have different sizes. Now I'm going to refer to a size as wavelength which is in turn defined as the distance between two successive crests in a wave. Now I want you to look at this electromagnetic spectrum graph right here. On this image the largest wave in size or wavelength which are radio waves are on the very left and the electromagnetic waves get smaller and smaller as we go to the right with visible light around the middle area and Wi-Fi is just about here with the frequency of 2.4 gigahertz up to 4.8 or some people like to say 5 gigahertz now radio waves which are the biggest can easily pass straight through walls because they are so large that the wall is almost invisible just like a huge elephant has no idea that a small ant is standing right next to his feet because he is too big compared to her. Here is a great analogy. This is me. This is a mosquito. I want to go to my house and so does the mosquito. But it's raining outside. Now the rain is the barrier and I will be the large waves. Now I can easily run into the rain because my size is so large compared to the raindrops. But the mosquito will have a hard time because it is roughly the same size as one raindrop. So the raindrop will interact with it and is going to knock it into the ground. Now the Wi-Fi waves are large but they are not as large as radio waves. So they can pass through the wall but not completely. And that explains why they get a little bit attenuated and they get weaker when you are in a different room. In the analogy, this can be approximated to me getting really wet when I reach home. So I will reach at the end, I will run into the rain, I will reach my house, but at the end I'm gonna be wet. <laughs> So that would suggest that anything that is smaller in wavelength than visible light going to the right of the graph cannot pass through, right? Wrong! Turns out that gamma rays, which are the smallest, can also go through the wall. Which is mind-blowing because you got here radio waves which can pass because they're large. And then as you go down and they get smaller in wavelength, visible light will not go through. But if you go further small, then you can again go through the wall. It's getting a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna explain it. It turns out that gamma rays can also pass through the wall, but for different reasons. See, with radio waves and Wi-Fi waves, they can pass through even if it's partially because they are too big. Gamma waves can pass through because it is too small. It's almost like some of them can go between the wall atoms, between the actual atoms and pass through the wall to the other side. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope you've learned something. Make sure to leave a like and stay tuned for videos like this or for videos that are not like this because I do make different types of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.